Bastet is back to work for our state lawmakers, and today Democrats will have full control. They will hold the majority in both the House and the Senate, something that hasn't happened in our state since 2014. And Denver 7's Micah Smith is live at the state capitol for us this morning. And Micah, you talked to the next Senate president on the top priorities this session. Yeah, I did, Nicole and Molly, and I asked Senate President Designate Leroy Garcia what we can expect this session, and he says the top priorities this session are a lot like last session with issues including tackling the opioid crisis and trying to be more proactive and less reactive to that issue, looking at oil and gas rules, funding education, which Garcia says is a top priority, and funding transportation improvements after voters turned down two ballot measures. Also looking for health care solutions. We know that day in and day out that this is affecting families. Um, we're having more and more people use an ER or 911 service as a primary means for health care. That's just too expensive. We need to be able to provide them with the opportunities to be able to receive health care in a far more accessible and, and a cheaper modalities. Garcia says constituents can expect a change in culture in the Senate this session, but he says he is open to working with his colleagues across the aisle. In Colorado, state lawmakers formally meet at the beginning of January until mid-May. Live from the Capitol, Micah Smith, Denver 7.